Hello, everybody. It's early morning, April 22nd. I tell you, man, I cannot sleep. I'm get, As soon as I lay down, I get this uh, this thing to get back and look at the stars. So something, something just drawing my attention tonight, to, uh, this morning. So, okay, we're, I'm over here looking at, I'm looking at Mauna Kea. It says Mauna Kea Meteor Showers at Subaru telescope hawaii we got all the doors open everybody everybody is uh, looking up because we have a meteor shower that's going to be coming in pretty soon okay this site right here we uh, we got this happening tonight i mean right now in a little bit left behind by comets leading to the awe-inspiring phenomenon we know as meteor showers among these, the Lyrid meteor shower stands out as a yearly event that peaks around April 21st, 22. This meteor shower is not just a nighttime entertainment. The progenitor of the Lyrids, Comet C1861G1 Thatcher, was discovered in the 19th century, but the meteor shower itself has been observed for millennia. Bits of dust and rock burn up in our atmosphere at speeds up to 49 kilometers per second creating the brilliant streaks across the night sky. The shower emanates from the constellation Lyra, giving it the name Lyrids. Okay, Lyra. I did a, with Comet 12P pass by there, and I did a little history of, of Lyra and Vega, the harp, the musical harp. And um, ever since uh, the Comet went there and I started listening to harp music, <laughs> but uh, Lyra just happens to be coming from that star constellation meteoroids burn up in the atmosphere larger impacts have occurred in the past and will happen again monitoring these celestial events is not just a matter of scientific curiosity but also one of planetary defense i'll leave the link below in the description of this this video now this right here you're wondering it's the moon this is a, a lens flare but this is the moon but also where the moon's located at right in a, in a little bit in a couple hours it'll be located right here you're not you're going to be surprised okay we're looking due east with the Mauna Kea Subaru telescope we got the moon in Virgo by Spica the wheat harvest I got another video on that Spica on my list playlist now one of the telescopes here's a link also right here is doing this live i uh, don't know i don't think we're looking due east this is from one of the telescopes that's going to be providing right there from the subaru telescope in hawaii so we're looking from the the view of the observatory and they're going to be showing us comet 12p Let's see if only if i knew the direction we're looking at so we could look at the stars it's definitely not towards the moon is definitely not looking due east so i'm assuming it's looking at the towards the taurus constellation if they're looking for the comet they're looking at the comet i'll leave the link below so this would be interesting to watch now if you go on space weather they got cool graphic they got map sites the stream of debris and it just basically shows this the stream they're expecting pretty soon i mean you can be with it and it gives you the other years and where it passes pretty interesting night tonight very active very active indeed real quick on this last video i put out about the the earthquake the link to the site the earthquake sites right here in the description but let me show you uh the history of spica now if you go to my site but it says video just scroll all the way down right here i talk about lara the harp that was about four months ago Okay, this video right here, I posted about eight months ago. Now, in this video here, uh, eight months ago, histories. So it talks about it talks about uh, the time of the, the god. god. Back it talks, talks about, about reef, rebirth, rebirth connected with solar, solar rebirth. rebirth. There's, There's a whole bunch of other information. information. Now, this, this is the information that, that the magi had knowledge of before, before, before the library was burnt. burnt. There's there's a lot of information here on this video right here about Spica with the full moon right at the arm by the wheat of Spica. I find that too many coincidences in the last within the last within the last 24 hours. So I just thought I'd pass this out. Uh excuse the editing. I'm not gonna do too much editing. Try to get some uh try to get some rest. Got a busy day tomorrow today. And also to be advised, you know that I'm heavily C 
word and shadow b so uh give me a thumbs up subscribe share the video use it information i mean i make no money out of this stuff guys i do this as uh i do this to inform so here it is here's a site right here and there's a there's two of them this one and this one so it should be pretty soon see the full moon it's still kind of light over there but it'll get dark and we'll start we'll see the meteor showers so i'll leave the link down in the description below until next time i'll try to get some uh very interesting day today passover in the middle east a lot of signs guys a lot of signs happening right now too many